All right, guys, warm up for Wednesday. You're gonna alternate Tabata style, okay? So split jump, you're gonna start in a split position. You're gonna dip, jump, squat, down, okay? So you're gonna alternate left to right for 20 seconds, and then you're gonna move on to the hollow rocks. So hollow rocks, remember you want your lower back to be pressing on the ground, posterior to your pelvis, and you're just gonna rock through the midline, all right? So you don't want to be kind of like rocking like this. You really want a smooth surface on the ground and a U shape, okay? So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, you're gonna alternate between a few movements, so four sets each. Hey guys, welcome back to Skills Work today. So today we are going to start off with our cartwheel. So again, cartwheel, you want to just kind of start in the warm-up and go low first. So Vicky's going to demo again. Shake your hands, shake your legs, come in back, and then go over again, do both sides. Okay, and then as you feel more comfortable, then you're going to try to kick up higher. Yep, yeah. and then go higher again. Okay. Remember you're trying to land soft every time, okay, on the, on the feet and on the hands, right? So do maybe 10, 10 reps, two sets. Hey guys, so now we're gonna go with the forward row in case you guys see yourself in a situation where you're bailing off weirdly on the floor. Remember to tuck your chin in and row with it, okay? But forward row, you're gonna start with your hands right in front of your, your toes. And then from there, you're gonna tuck your chin in and get your head as close to the ground first. Get your head close to the ground, close to the ground. And then when you're ready, you're gonna push with your foot and row, forward row, okay? So, might be a little bit uh, scary at first, but if you tuck your chin in, you'll be fine with that row, okay? The last thing, the only thing you don't wanna do is open up your chin, okay? Have fun. So guys, next is the kick up. So kick up, we did it last week. Let's do it again to try and perfect it. So you can start off with your hands on the floor, bringing your hands shoulder width apart. And then when you start, you can get your hips over your shoulders as much as possible. So pushing your hips all the way up. And then from there you're gonna kick. And then you're trying to get your body aligned. So your ankles, hips, stacked over your shoulders. Once they're stacked, drive your hands through the floor in this position. So Jack is gonna get it and show us. And then you can use the cartwheel again for when you kick up and you can't bail, you can just roll out of it on a cartwheel. So you kick up, if you lose balance, cartwheel out, just so you can safe. Hey guys, we're back on the single arm handstand balance. Again, starting on the box of the chair, anything you have to elevate your knees and your body, and then you put your hands on the floor as you're going for a handstand position. From there, shift your weights, hips towards your shoulders as much as you can. Keep your elbows locked out. Lean to one side and then transfer that weight to that side as you get that hand off the floor. Hanging there for 20 seconds this week before you switch arms. The same thing. Shift your weight first and then get that hand off the floor. Once you've done that, if, that, if that's too easy for you guys, just go ahead and face the wall. Do a wall walk. And then from there you do the same thing. Transfer the weight to one side until you feel feeling good. And then you get that hand off the floor if you can. Even if you keep some fingers on the floor, it's fine. As long as you're feeling all the weight in one side, it's still really good, okay? Switch sides after 20 seconds. Find the balance again on the other hand. Fingertip first. Once you feel comfortable, get it out. Or just keep the fingertip, it's fine. Cool. Okay, what are you doing today? You're gonna do two rounds for time. Okay, you're gonna need a box. Okay, so, box. A box has dumped up some weight on the side. You're gonna do 25 step up per side, okay? Remember, when you step up, you wanna lean forward a little bit, put the weight on top of the, of the first leg, and then make sure your knees align. You're gonna push up, stand back up, and then step down, switch leg, keep yourself tall, weights on the side, okay? 50 reps, 20 reps, 25 reps on the side. And then 40 burpees, okay? So remember burpees, 
Make sure that you are going chest to the ground. So reach down, jump, chest to the ground, and then come up. Squat stance, jump up, and clap. Okay, remember to jump tall. And then 30 feet ups. Feet ups again. You can do it top stop. So you can come in, tuck, tuck your heels. You can come in, tuck your shin. You can come in, tuck your toe, and this is a feet up. Okay, you can do 30 reps. After that, you can lie back down into burpees and then dumbbell box step ups. You can do two rounds. Your goal is to do sub 10 minutes per set. And then time gap is 25 minutes. 